Now, sometimes in these cold winter months, you just want to get away from it all, don't you? So how about a trip under the sea? Yeah, if you've never been scuba diving before, but quite fancy it. It'll take just five sessions, first of all, in a swimming pool before you can start exploring the deep. And, you know, wherever you live in the UK, we're all just a few hours from a complete different world. As I found out when I joined the East Cheshire Sub Aqua Club in Landnox, Macclesfield. It's all around us in Britain, but a world away. Just a few metres down here in the Irish Sea, and yet it's like being on another planet where the rather whiskery locals are inquisitive and sometimes over-friendly, like this grey seal whose bite was nowhere near as bad as its bark. It is staggering the variety of wildlife you can encounter around the British Isles. And these waters are also an underwater museum of shipwrecks for our divers to explore. And for most of them, this is where it all begins. A humble swimming pool at one of 900 centres around the UK. And on cold, dark winter nights, this is the perfect place for beginners to take their first flippered steps into the deep end, alongside more experienced divers just practising their skills. I think it's an escape. It's, it, I think Jack Hughes too called it the silent world. It's not particularly quiet, but it certainly takes you away from the day-to-day -day worries. Once you're under the water, it's, it's another world. To become an ocean diver, you need to first have five sessions in a pool run by qualified instructors like the ones from the British Sub Aqua Club. There are games and exercises as you learn how to use your tank of air and emergency safety procedures. And I found it an incredibly peaceful place to spend an hour. Well, and up we are again. A bit quick, I think, that time, but tell you what, we're only three metres down in a swimming pool, but it does feel you're completely cut off in the world, and time just seems to stop. I don't know how that down has enjoyed it so much. It's the only time I think we'll feel weightless other than if we've got the opportunity to go to space, and just the total freedom of being utterly weightless. As well as your lessons in the pool, you have several sessions in a classroom before five more out at sea. And recently, there's been a push to get more girls into the sport. It was traditionally seen as an old man's sport, but now we've got a lot more young people coming in. It's quite like surreal, really. Like, you don't, you don't really know what you're getting yourself into on this, but it's really, it's really great. The fact that I'll be able to, like, go and discover, like, really cool things in the world. It feels like you're at one with, like, your one of the fish. And once you've qualified, you can be that fish. The world is your oyster. Or, or lobster, sorry. And further afield, the club have witnessed sharks starting off the coast of Oman and an array of mobile arrays off Antigua. But remember, the waters closer to home can be just as rewarding, especially with such adorable locals waiting to explore them. It's like play, playing with a dog in the park, isn't oh, it? Amazing. So, so cute. Adorable, absolutely adorable. But I couldn't believe the richness of the variety of wildlife around the UK. Yeah. The arrays and that snapping shell thing. That's around. incredible. Yeah. That was like some kind of business. It's all just a few hours away from all of us. Once you've done your course. One day safe course. So what, so five sessions in the pool? Yeah, then a little exam, yeah. like a multiple choice test, and then five sessions at sea, and you're qualified as an ocean diver to go anywhere in the world or in the UK. So maybe do it in the UK, find your feet, yeah. so to yeah. speak, and then you go somewhere warm. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, it's just a little bit warm. But the pool's always warm, isn't it? Yeah. If you're finding the pool. Yeah. Uh, Mike, thanks very much. Yeah.